Welcome to the runway. As you know, in fashion, one day you're in, and the next day, you're out. For this challenge, you worked in teams. Let's bring out your models. Ew, she's wearing animal fur. Disgusting. They're both really ugly. Ew! It looks like I'm at the cotillion party in the south from hell. Ew! Let's move on. Good afternoon, everybody. Her Highness is here. Chewy, can you please bring the evidence forward? Yeah, it's, it's over there. Well, <laughs> nobody can see it over there. Well, I'm not moving it. Yeah, you are. We have to see I'm it. I'm not moving it. I'm not going to watch it from here. What am I going to sit there like this? Come on. Jeez. Just break. Stop. <laughs> oh, you heard me. Just shut up. Bring the thing over here. Come uh, here. Where? In front of me so I can watch it. How about here? No, they need to see it. Both of the I can't see it. Who's in charge? This is my courtroom. Is this good? Face it more out this way. This way? Out to there, to that wall. There? That's good. I can see, fine, I can see it. Fine. Can you see there? Yeah. Can you see it? Can you see there? I can play. see it. You can see it. Pre press play, please. Okay. <laughs> oh. Can uh, we just play the tape? Shut up, Bruce! Chewy. A year-long investigation by a team of British and Chinese campaign. Holly Williams' report contains pictures of animals being mistreated. In oh, my gosh! What's going on? What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm making fur. This poor animal, they have a heartbeat, too. Not anymore. That's so wrong. You want to help me? Oh, let me help you. Okay, let me help you. What are you doing? Oh, uh, do you want to see how it feels? Let me cut you and sell your skin. <gasps> I hate this channel. No, no. Heart, you think it's small, but it's so impactful. Hi, this is Khloe Kardashian for PETA. I decided to pose for PETA, I'd rather go naked campaign. One, because I'm so honored just to even be asked. It's such an amazing group of women. And two, it's such a powerful statement. And I really want people to know that I'm serious about the fur campaign. I just don't think it's necessary. You know, I never really was aware of fur and how the fur was made. I originally always thought fur was made from dead animals. The videos are so graphic, but so necessary for people to watch. I had no idea that's how these animals were treated. My advice is just the internet is so powerful these days. Google, like just inform yourself so you don't have to kill little amazing animals. And also puppy mills and you should neuter your pets. Like I'm really strong on neutering all your animals. We have so many in pounds and it's so sad if you go to any pound in LA or anywhere. It's overwhelmed. I love animals and you know I'm really happy that I have this opportunity and I was blessed with being able to see these videos and being able to change my mind and want to save animals and at least just do my part so you know I really am happy that PETA has embraced me as well and it's I feel like a perfect little fit and I really hope people just make small little steps and just keep growing over time. The smallest things work. If we were to do to our pets what they do on fur farms, like electrocute them and skin them alive, we'd be charged with, you know, felony crime. But because it's happening on a fur farm, it's for fashion. I just don't understand how we can, in our heads, compartmentalize two different kinds of animals. It's, it's horrendous and it's disgusting and it shouldn't be done just because it's fashion. People who are still wearing fur and buying fur and fashion designers who are still using them in their collections, I would really just ask you to take a minute to watch this footage of these fur farms. So I just, I hope that you see that the, that pain is not worth anything that you're getting back from it.
because animals can't ask for the abuse to stop. Because when it comes to pain, love, and joy, a rat is a pig, is a dog, is a boy. Just imagine having your body left to science while you're still in it. Birds fly, don't they? Because they aren't ours to eat, to experiment on, to use in entertainment, or to abuse in any way. Because they have their own families, just like we do. We don't only want bigger cages, we want empty cages, because they all want to be free. Fish aren't swimming vegetables, they feel pain too. A life at the end of the chain, alone, neglected, and forgotten, isn't what he had in mind when he was brought home. Because for them, this isn't fun. It's torment. Because there's a compassionate way to do everything. Because she loves her babies, too. Because they want to be loved. Never be silent. This is wrong. People who exploit animals may not be ready for animal rights, but the animals are ready. They've been ready. And we'd better not let them down. <laughs>